coronavirus is an infectious disease that caused by a newly discovered pop virus. So we don't know where it comes from, but it started from China. So from the China, it spreads to other country like Thailand, Singapore, Malaysia, Italy, yeah. Um, Asia, we call it as Asia. How this virus is spread? Mm. Okay, this virus spreads primarily through the droplets of saliva or discharge from the nose that infected the people to cough or sneeze. So, it's important that you also practice respiratory etiquette. Okay, so how to prevent yourself or avoid yourself from the from this virus? Okay, so first you have to wash your hands. So always, always wash your hands because it has bacteria on your nails like this, like this in this one. Okay, so second thing is you have to use hand sanitizer. You can use hand sanitizer when you're going out somewhere. Mm, when you take a light thing, when you go to the supermarket and you take the thing that you want. And you have you can use your hand sanitizer at your hands. And for the third is you can and you have to wear mask when you're going out somewhere like you want to go to supermarkets or station or it's station I guess or station whatever everywhere you want to go you have to wear a mask because it can protect yourself from bacteria so what we should have to do during this coronavirus uh, we have to stay at home to avoid this virus, the spirits, mm. and then so don't go out. If you want to go out, make sure you go out for something that really, really important in yourself. Like you want to buy the things you want to cook, yeah, something like that. But some people doesn't stay at home, maybe they have something um, something like the things that they want to go like they want to travel to the world because the flight ticket become cheap so become cheaper so yeah who, who doesn't want that like right so what benefits that you can get during the coronavirus quarantine day? So, for me, you have a lot of time with family during this coronavirus quarantine. When you stay at home, you guys can eat your mom's food, you guys can spend time more with your family members, like watching television together. Or play you with your um, sister, younger sister, or younger brother. You can talk about anything like politics, economy, or something funny with your family. So, yeah, I think it is the good thing when you guys have to stay at home because you have a lot of time, lot of time with your family. So, please. Spend time with them. Yeah, like a student who study far from his family, like me, I'm studying Islamo and my family stay at Pahang. So during this quality day, I have a, time, a lot of time to spend with them. And then, when this coronavirus has the end and like, end game, so, I don't have a lot of time uh, with them anymore, like now. So please, 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 spend time with me, stay at home, just save, be safe, and others.
<coughs> other safe. This virus is very dangerous, so yeah, you guys have to stay at home to protect yourself, protect others. Yeah. So I hope that everyone in Malaysia can save and stay at home because we want everyone safe. Yeah, Malaysia want everyone safe. So please stay at home to protect yourself and others. That's all for today. Thank you. Hello and best wishes to Mr. Dave. Mm. My name is Nora Shafika Hamiza binti Zulfakri and I am from Westmaker class semester 1. So I have two topic to talk about and the first the first topic is about language and Oh yeah. So on this on this earth there are so many country and each country has 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 its own language such as in Malaysia. Malaysia using the Malay language as the primary language. Uh and many Malaysian speak in Malay even even you are Chinese Malaysian or Indian Malaysian if you Malaysian <laughs> you can speak in Malay <laughs> but they still can speak in their in their language uh, their mother tongue such as Mandarin in um, Tamil Mandarin Tamil and and a few Malaysian use uh choose to speak in English if they want to communicate with others, they still can use any language. It's open. Um but Malaysia also have a dialect such as in Kelantan, Sabah, Sarawak, Kedah, Terengganu and more. In my opinion, I don't think that we we just have to learn our mother tongue because we, although we need to uphold our mother tongue because this is Malaysia, even Malaysia is a small country but Malaysia has many ways, many many nation, many language. So it's a big chance for us to learn other language without paying if we have we have uh, friends or family or contacts so we can learn from them without paying but if you don't have friends or family or contacts from other ways you still can learn you still can learn other language if you interest it, uh, such as you can go to class language class or tuition language tuition but you have to pay the class and the tuition if you still want to learn other language but you don't want to pay there are many initiatives such as you can search like now the technology is growing right so you can only search at google or translate what's this meaning this uh to this language to this language so many in initiative and and i think have a uh, right now have a uh, apps for for some some language so you can install it from from Play Store. So you can learn from there without paying ni without paying anything. Uh we also can learn many language in this world such as English, Korea, Korea, Japan, German, like my 
my secondary school have a class for Germany language. So who student who who interest or the class must learn in Germany language and their exam for that language. Uh, sometimes there are many benefits, you know, if we if we learn other language, because it me it make it easier for us to communicate with we someone we don't know where they are from and wherever we are we can we can communicate with other people and if we learn uh if we learn a foreign language and travel to other countries it will make it easier for us to to us and understand when we communicate with them we uh with using their language also we can avoid being deceived because they always think that we can't understand what they talking about what they talking about what they talking in their language they think that we can't understand so they take the opportunity to fool us especially when we want to buy some souvenirs uh, so they want to make more advantage from us so it's not fair right so if you think it's hard to learn any language but you must learn to for your own self take any initiative to make it easier for you to learn like i was taught before using the internet or friends at least one language one language other than our native language i think it's easy if you learn english because english is a international language so many many country can sp- many country use english for to communicate communicate with others so it's easy and the second and the last topic is about online learning Okay, so because of this issue of the COVID-19 more spread and more bigger than before, we need to stay at home because our government, our government and the Prime Minister uh, has implemented MCO, the MCO, which means Movement Control Order for One Malaysia. But now is continuing MCO continuing at, at until twenty eight April. Twenty eight April. So many lesson, uh, at school or institute must uh be delayed. So, they can take step using a uh, internet. While stay at home use the inter- use the internet or google classroom for make student study even even the student stay at home the teacher stay at home because the technology is growing so so any problem can be dissolved any problem can be dissolved even it's hard but we have to do it because it's our it's our it's our opportunity right to learn as a student so the institute take step take step uh use online learning to keep student study while have family at home so this will also ensure that the the education the education at malaysia will not be missed or will not be missed but sometimes students have a problem such as they are they don't have any laptops or computer even they have 
uh, smartphones but sometimes a memory or data on smartphone can af- can afford as much as laptop and computer so that's a problem who student who don't have a laptop and computer uh, and in online class using Google Classroom or any apps for study that app only can learn about theory and academic the student who learn about skills like me the task will be delayed so I as a student at Academy Prata I still get assignment from the teachers we have to design we have to do assignment uh, assignment for B, uh, for English for ICT and more uh, but just like me who learn about skill I can't swing at home because I don't have swing machine and I don't have any fabric to swing uh, so and I don't have someone who can teach me at home how to swing a woman's clothes or dress make want to make a dress but who have a who have a sewing machine at home they still can practice at home to make their swing is perfect however we must be grateful because the government is really care about us they give student 50 50 ringgit for the top up and already already give us one gigabyte free internet so we must be grateful so lastly just stay at home and please help the frontliner who work hard to stop the co- to stop the spread of covid-19 with stay at home keep the, the distance with other people if we go outside to buy item or have emergency case that's only we can help country and that's also and I'm sorry if I'm doing a mistake and if I'm not looking at the camera too much I'm sorry uh, and stay at home take care stay safe and thank you sir okay hi everyone okay today I would like to talk about my experience in sport so my a sport that I choose is a netball. Uh, actually, I start my uh, netball is since primary school, uh, and I selected to represent school of SK Rawang. Uh, it's just near from my house, and then after that, after I finish a primary school, I go to the secondary school. Uh, at SMK Srigare, I'm still active uh, in netball. So in secondary school, we have two batch, which is under 18 and under 15. Uh, so under 18 is just for form 4 and form 5. And then uh, under 15 is uh, 15 below. Lah. Uh, is uh, form 1 until form 3. So in 2015, that time I was uh, form 3. Uh, is a picture tree bash. Uh, I was selected to represent for our gom- uh, Gomba player, and that time I feel so happy, and this time I feel so sad because um, that time I don't have skill that or strategy in my mind, so I don't know how to uh, play the game like a star. So so there's a, a bad experience that I have and. So many tears when I'm with a player Gomba. I'm not happy. So after I go back to school, I teach them what happened. I teach them the skill that I learned before this. And then at the same time, I, I share to them what happened to me when I'm at a Gomba, uh, for being a Gomba player. After that, um, for me in 
for get the placing in secondary school is very tough because we have so many school i think like 10 school in gomba fight together like gomba setia sungai pusu uh, bukit gading is a very tough uh, school because they have a good coach we have a good teacher to teach them how to uh, the strategy of the netball so uh but my school also good but not good enough and then after i finish my spm i'll continue my study in form six at the same schools too uh, i'm still active in my netball and i being a captain for my team uh team netball form six so uh for the, the first the first game is a uh, 2018 i participate um we got number two we have number two placing this is the medal Ooh, i'm so happy that I, all my team is so happy because we fight together with gomba city oof a very tough team that and very annoying team annoying team and then uh, 2019 uh maybe we don't have luck but we have number three we got number three so this uh this this time i feel so upset because we stand without teacher because my, uh, because my teacher don't like to carry team netball but he just uh do it because of work he don't like the netball and we she don't like me too so we don't care we fighting together we prove to her prove to my teacher that we have number three we not lost we not loser so uh in my opinion i think for those who don't like uh in spite should like because there are so many benefits that you have to learn which is uh can release your stress can maintain your emotional day by day and also can maintain your diet for me it's very good if you participate uh, nobody cares what size you are but what we what we want it is just being confident that what you did because nobody can understand what you want to do but for me, you just be confident what you want to say, what you want to do, because only you can know what you want in your life. Thank you for today. Thank you for hearing me. Uh, I want to say sorry if I'm not good enough in English. Um, that's all for today. Thank you. Bye. Stay at home. Stay in. Stay safe, guys. My name is Hamad Fidos bin Ibrahim. I am from Hospitality Department and my course is Food Preparation SAM 2. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about COVID-19. What is COVID-19? COVID-19 is coronavirus disease. It's an infection disease caused by a newly discovered coronavirus. Most people infected with the COVID-19 virus will experience mild to moderate respiratory illness and recover without requiring special treatment like older people and those with undying medical problem like cardiovascular disease. Diabetes, chronic respiratory disease and cancer are more likely to develop serious illness. The best way to prevent and slow down transmission is be well informed about the COVID-19 virus, the disease it causes and how it spreads, protect yourself and others from infection by washing your hand or using an alcohol-based rub frequently and not touching your face. The COVID-19 virus spreads primarily through droplet and saliva or discharge from the nose when an infected person cough or sneeze. There are no specific vaccine or treatment for COVID-19. However, there are many ongoing clinical trials evaluating potential treatments. WHO company will continue to provide update information as soon as clinical findings become available. 
A phenomenon of unknown cause detect in Wuhan first. China was first report to the WHO country office in China on 31 December 2019. WHO is working 24 hours to analyze data, provide advice, coordinate with partners, help countries prepare, increase supplies, and manage expert network. The outbreak was declared a public health emergency of international concern on 30 January 2020. That's all for the information about COVID-19 or also known as coronavirus. Thank you. Hello and good morning to Sadiq. I hope you went at home, okay? Okay, my name is Cairo Huda Bentam Isham uh, from Jahitan Pakai Wanita. Today, I want to talk about importance of sport. Okay, sport in Greek life, a sport in Greek, uh, everyone busy life, especially for student. Okay, everyone should invoice themselves uh, in the sport activity, even small time or trial day. Uh, sport are uh, necessary for a uh, sport are uh, necessary because it brings uh, physical and mental benefit to person uh, invoice in the in the regular in the regular basis okay people who have very schedule have people have very people who have very schedule uh, in their life get tired and very easily okay as we all know that um living living relax and comfort um, and comfort need a uh, sound mind and sound body education is very necessary to get name fame and money okay in, in the same way getting sound mind and sound body everyone must to invoice in some type physical as uh, physical as uh, sport with the best way okay okay uh, mean invoice in sport activity uh, to person in many ways okay uh, it, it does not provide only physical strength however in however however in increase uh however in increase in increase mental power too okay such as sport day for outdoor like like hockey volleyball netball etc etc help improve health and mental benefit okay. however some indoor however 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 some indoor sport like um like give like brain game chess sudoku uh, etc improve mental power concentrate 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 concentration concentration uh concentration level okay 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 my next topic is drugs okay now a day drug edited now a day drug edited um is a very severe problem in the whole world when you are addicted you may not able to control your drug using and may continue using the drug despite the harm uh, despite uh, the harm it causes okay drug addiction can cause intense for the drug you may want to quit but most people uh, find they can do it on their own. Not everyone who use drug becomes edited, but uh, for many, what state as casual use lead uh, use lead um, use lead casual a uh, use lead. Uh, to drug addiction. Drug addiction can cause serious 
uh, long term uh, consequences, uh, including including problems with physical and mental safety, uh, relationship, uh, employment, and the law. Okay, uh, you may need uh, help from doctor, family, friend, uh, and uh, and or oh, or oh, an organist. Uh, to to treatment uh, to treatment uh, to treatment program to overcome your drugs so uh, become your over program program to overcome your drug addiction uh, your drug addiction uh, and stay and stay drug free okay so Please don't try. Uh, don't try to play with the own life, and don't spoil the life. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, sir. Hello. Today, I would like to talk about HIV and AIDS. What is HIV? HIV or Human Immunodeficiency Virus is a virus that attacks that help the body fight infection making a person more vulnerable to other infection and disease. It is spread by contact with certain bodily fluids of a person with HIV most commonly during unprotected sex or sex without a condom or HIV medicine can to prevent or treat HIV or through sharing injection drug equipment. If left untreated HIV can lead to disease AIDS or known as acquired, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. The human body can get rid of HIV and no effective HIV cure exists. So once you have HIV, you have it for life. However, by taking HIV medicine or called as antiretroviral therapy or AIDS, people with HIV can live long and healthy life. What is AIDS? AIDS is the late stage of HIV infection that occurs when the body's immune system is badly damaged because of the virus without HIV medicine people with AIDS typically survive three years once someone has a dangerous opportunistic illness life expectancy without treatment for about one year HIV medicine can still help people at this stage of HIV infection and it can even be life-saving. But people who start out soon after they get HIV experience more benefits. That's why HIV testing is so important. Next, I would like to talk about dengue virus. What is dengue virus? Dengue virus or dengue fever, also known as red one fever. It is because from mosquito bone infection that can lead to a severe flu like illness. It is caused by four different viruses and spread by Aedes mosquitoes. 
symptom range from mild to severe. Severe symptoms include dengue, shock syndrome, or known as DSS, and dengue, hemorrhagic fever, or known as or known as DHF. This usually require hospitalization. There are currently no vaccine at all. The best method of prevention is to avoid from mosquito bites. Signs and symptoms is my dengue fever symptoms can appear up to seven days after being bitten by the mosquito <coughs> that carries the virus. They include etching muscle and joints, high fever, body rash that can disappear then reappear, intense head age, pain behind the eyes, vomiting, and feeling nauseous. Dengue is a virus, so there is no specific treatment or cure. However, intervention can help depending on how severe the disease is so what you must do to avoid this illness is preventing dehydration painkiller such as Tylenol or paracetamol non steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as aspiring are not advised because they can increase the risk of internal bleeding. <coughs> so, as humans, what we should do is always keep our house clean. Regularly clean outside the home environment. Also, avoid stagnant water as it because it can more attract the most Eddies mosquitoes. Also, before go to bed, spray the whole house with mosquito repellent. That's all for me. My name is Nur Fatia Adorabiti Matya from Penyajian Semester One. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. A very good morning. Do you know what is hostel? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Hostel is welfare home. What? Welfare home? No, no, no. Hostel is a place for children, people like us. Hostel life are very amazing. First, we don't need... Jeng, jeng, jeng! after all the students in the hostel? Oh, it's our hotel garden. Ah, uh, I'm scared. Ooh, what's scared? This is, they are very nice, kind, helpful, polite, and responsible person. But, if we do not obey the rules and disciplines, Is the wardens? 
wake up wake up it's already 5 30 a.m today we have a class Aww. hurry up you might be late hey we need to hurry it's time for prayer subo if you are late watch out you will get wet from ostal Attention guys, today we have a Gotha Royal at 9 a.m. Sharp, chop, chop. What? Chicken chop? No, please hurry up. If you're late, your name will be taken by facilitator. Like it or not, up, up, you go. In the doors, meet the floor, meet the windows. Now, it is time to wait for... We wait for what? Real time. I am so hungry. What lunch for today? Chicken rice maybe or an ice cream. Ooh, yummy. Today is Sunday. It's time for the rest. The most exciting activity is watching television. Hey guys, what's the movies for today? Are you ready kids? I can hear you. Like a big happy family. Hostel life has its up and down. Thank you for